the road, they can't freaking deliver. I'm sick and tired of this. I'm sick and tired of these. And you know what? These people own, oh, she's more talent, most talented person I ever met or one of the. Oh, come on. Everyone's been in that room. Everyone, especially in recent history of music. Of acting, of t- you, oh yeah, yeah, so much more talented than uh, Bradley Cooper. Yeah, right. Yeah, I can't even. Like when I did my first HBO special, I made jokes about me not being as talented as the people on there, mm-hmm. and sh- they have no self awareness that they are nothing compared to real stars. I know I'm a fucking D level, C F U level, whatever the fuck. I'm on the wrap up show. How good could my life possibly be? Hey, Lisa, <laughs> come on. No, no, but honestly, it's it makes me laugh when these people. Oh, I could be as good as James Taylor, really. Then stop sucking cock all over town and try maybe doing some work. I'm not a musician anymore. Do I ever say I'm not a comic anymore? If it's in you, it's in you. And well, she has a problem. She has too much in her and no talent in her. Well, Benji, when it came <laughs> up, when he started saying that she's the most talented person, oh. you know, he's saying that with. Howard sitting across from him with yeah, Jimmy sitting exactly. next to him. And, you know, not to take anything away from Elisa's talents, but come on, you're looking at two, you know, Howard's certainly a legend. Jimmy's one of the biggest celebrities around now. Right. James Taylor, I mean, <laughs> you're not in the same conversation, folks. Billy Joel. I mean, Billy Joel. Let, let's be honest here. Madonna. And- the thing is, it's so funny because it, there's that old joke of like, are you kidding? You're not even the most talented per- person in the room. And especially in that room, no one's ever going to be more talented. Fred is better. You know, Fred is a genius at what he does. Robin, this is a huge dishonoring of people who pay his bills for him. That's what kills me, too. Howard writes that check to him every week. And yes, does he deserve it? Yes. But don't be saying that in front of somebody who put you where you are. It makes me ill, this kind of thing. You know, the bigger issue I had, and then we're going to take some calls on this after the break, with Benji was that when things were going well, or Howard was interested, or it was, he had no problem talking about this. Mm-hmm. But now, you know, when he asked him, Benji's like, I, you know, Jimmy asked him and Benji's like, well, I would prefer not to talk about that. You can't do it. If he hadn't brought mm-hmm. Elisa up or any of this relationship in the past, fine. You could say no and you're entitled to that. Right. But you can't bring it up when it's all good and then all of a sudden decide, you know what, I'm not going to talk about it anymore. It just doesn't work that way, especially on this show. Right. And that's why I applaud Jimmy because he really got things going mm-hmm. and we got to have some closure on this because everybody loves to talk about it. Nobody knows what's going on in the relationship. And right. that, today, I think we we got a clue as to what's really going on. And kudos to Benji for buying the publishing rights because that was pretty That smart. was really cool. And $200. Yeah. $200 freaking dollars. I wonder how much James Taylor's publishing rights are worth. Let's compare those two. A little more than 200 yeah, I guess. Yeah, 200 to what power, you <laughs> fucking untalented cunt. I am so... I shouldn't have got up early. I'm sorry. You definitely, Tomorrow I'm going to get more sleep so I won't be as acerbic and rotten. But today, I'm on fire. I'm Le- sorry. Lisa, of course, you're entitled to your opinion. You know, I understand that's how you feel, but people, you know, might feel otherwise. We're going to take some calls on that after the break. Lisa Lampanelli here for the wrap-up show. Catch her new special, Back to the Drawing Board, premiering June 26th on Epix. She'll be here. We'll get Gary in here. We'll take your calls. It's a Howard Stern wrap-up show live on a Monday on Howard 100 and Howard 101.